World-renowned coral scientists have slammed the response to the mass coral bleaching on the Great Barrier Reef. The federal government has rejected claims it's been slow to act, insisting it's doing all it can to help. He's known as the godfather of coral and Charlie Verin describes what's happening to the Great Barrier Reef as gut-wrenching. The world-famous scientist is angry with the state and federal response. Well, they're being anything but up front. Uh, they're behaving like a mob of drunken sailors. Charlie Verin says scientists have warned governments for decades about risks to the reef and frustration is building over state and federal approvals for Adani's giant Carmichael coal mine. For heaven's sake, take it seriously. Listen to scientists for a change. They never listen to scientists. He's not alone. Professor Justin Marshall, who has been monitoring the reef for decades, is also urging action. I'm now just furious that the government is still sitting back, not doing enough. Scientists are warning if policy doesn't change, severe bleaching will keep happening. The Environment Minister Greg Hunt rejects claims he's not listening. We're uh, taking this uh, deeply seriously. I asked Mr Veyron himself uh, what he would want to see, to see done on uh, this bleaching event. He says, the future of the Carmi he says the future of the Carmichael coal mine is in the Queensland government's hands, arguing the Commonwealth Act on the reef. Action on water quality, action on crown of thorns, action on monitoring. The state government argues the Carmichael coal mine won't increase global emissions. The world is meeting its emission reduction targets as per the Paris Accord. Australia is meeting its commitments, but I'd, I'd ask the federal government to implement an emissions trading scheme. A more detailed picture of the bleaching is expected this week, with combined data from extensive aerial and water surveys. Scientists are expecting their fears about the spread and severity of the bleaching to be confirmed. Stephanie Smell, ABC News.